If we must liberate Nigeria and Africa by extension, it must start from the church. Now, you might wonder, how do place of worship fit into Africa liberation? Stick with me and you will come to understand why. For centuries, Africa destiny has been state managed. Why the Western world keep evolving? The West relationship or perspective about Africa hasn't changed over the past couple of years. Africa has been placed perpetually and strategically as a raw material producers and suppliers to the rest of the world. Imagine owning a diamond mine, but not being able to craft a single piece of jewelry. That's crazy, right? Africa provides raw materials and then end up buying back the finished product at a premium prices. This cycle needs to be urgently broken. But how have they been able to achieve this? One significant way is through the manipulation of our religious institution. Yes, you heard me. Our puppet has been, been used to sustain this agenda. Let's talk about the slave doctrine. The slave doctrine Bible or Quran was heavily addicted version of the religious book used in the 19th century. During the colonial time, missionary work hand in hand with colonial masters or colonial powers. It removed large portion of the hood and the New Testament focusing only on the passage that reinforced the institution of slavery. You see, this teaching is telling African to accept their position in the colonial system. This was a tool to control and manipulate the minds of the enslaved Africans, keeping them under the state of meekness and perpetual obedience. And that mindset still passes to this very day. Now, you might think that that was some centuries ago, but the effect still lingers in our days, but in a different form. Today, certain doctrine and teaching are exploited to promote unresponsiveness and discourage critical thinking of the African people. Like the emphasis on material wealth as a sign of divine favor. Uh, the fact is, this has hooked a lot of people to religious activities than engaging in productivity thinking. A white man's daughter or son is in the factory learning probably how to produce a car, a phone, uh, and some other gadgets. Why a Nigerian boy or Nigerian son is in the church or in the church crusade praying? Many community, most Islamic teachers and the sub-Saharan Africa emphasize strictly adherence to religious practice. Pray five times in a day, but fail to encourage education and personal economic empowerment. In fact, there is this a deception theory purported by some radical Islamic sect or followers that Western education is a sin and killing of opposite religion will warrant seven virgins in paradise. Could you just believe such kind of unrational thinking? Think about this. How many times have you heard that our blessings are tied to kingdom service? Forgetting that kingdom service is all about service to humanity or how much you give to the church or the mosque. There is nothing and nothing wrong with supporting religious institutions. The problem now arises when it becomes a tool for exploitation. Why is this happening? The Western economy will crash the very day the African state can put their acts together and fix their mentality towards creating a better society for its people. The West know this better than the African sons and daughters. So it's part of the larger strategy by the Western world to keep the Africa as a raw material supplier. The plan is to make Africa focus on spirituality without thinking about how to solve their daily problems. They solve the problems and Africa become the servants. We need to change the narrative. So what can we do about it? First, we need to promote teaching that empowers individuals. We live in a world where <laughs> people don't, some people don't believe in hard work again. They think they are short course with everything. The color caramels you see today, the successful Africans, Nigerians, and global people you see, they set up from somewhere. Majority of them succeeded because of hard work. We need religious messages that encourage critical thinking, self-reliance, and opportunity, and community development. It's all about fostering a mindset of independence and resilience. Lastly, we need to embrace our cultural heritage and history. Understanding where we come from helps us to see through the manipulation and realize the value of resources and potential. And we need to reclaim our identity and leverage it for our development. Thanks for watching. Please, if you find this video insightful, please do me a favor by clicking on the like button. And also, I would like to know your opinion on what you think, how you feel the mind of Africa has been shaped through religion that has kept us, or that has kept Africa in perpetual uh, slavery 
to the Western world. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please click on the subscribe button to keep receiving impactful and thought-provoking content from us 